we take a look at some of the biggest engines in the world. At number 7, the C-175. This particular Caterpillar engine stands over 8 feet tall and is capable of cranking out 16,000 pounds of torque. The 20-cylinder engine is used to power the large 797F 400-ton truck, but it also can be used as a generator to create up to 4 megawatts of electricity. It is a 106-liter four-stroke outfitted with four turbos and a common rail fuel injection system. It incorporates four-valve, two cooling jets per cylinder, along with a 178-gallon oil reservoir. So this is not for your typical vehicle, as it runs through 270 gallons of diesel an hour, which is not too bad for powering one of the largest trucks in the world. At number 6, the Rolls-Royce XWB. One of the largest turbofans in the world is used exclusively in the iconic Airbus A350, which can seat over 400 passengers. The XWB is an actual flow, high-bypass turbofan, which is driven by a 6-stage turbine and an 8-stage compressor. Total power amounts to roughly 83,000 pounds of force, with a thrust-to-weight ratio of around 5.82. Over 1,500 engines have already been sold, but there has been some economical problems associated with the engine, as Rolls-Royce is trying to just break even with their 84 variant this year. At number 5, the NK-12 MPM. The NK-12 is king when it comes to turboprops. Developed in the 1950s, it remains the most powerful turboprop to enter service, with the original variant producing over 15,000 horsepower. It has a 14 actual stage compressor, which can produce a pressure ratio of 13 to 1. Combined with a contra rotating propeller, its mass flow is roughly 143 pounds per second. However, the new variant, the MPM, will produce more power and less vibration, and it will be outfitted in the Russian Tupolev Tu-95. Now, there have been some engines, including the T-57 Pratt & Whitney, that have come close to power output, but they have been very short-lived as well. At number 4, the GE9X. One of the largest dual rotor axial flow turbofans from General Electric tops over 110,000 pounds of force. Over $2 billion have been invested to develop the engine, and it's being specifically designed for the Boeing 777X airplane, which can seat over 400 passengers. Some notable features include composite fan blades, a 3D aerodynamic 11 stage compressor, and titanium aluminide airfoils. General Electric claims that it's one of the quietest and most fuel-efficient engines of its kind. Over 600 engines have been ordered for a price of $44 million each. At number 3, the BE-4. Blue Origin is currently working on one of the most powerful rocket engines in the world, which runs on a mix of oxygen and natural gas. Unlike kerosene, this type of gas can self-pressurize in the tank, and this eliminates the need for complex systems. The cycle is actually very similar to the Atlas V RD-180, except this particular engine utilizes only one single combustion chamber and nozzle. It will output at 550,000 pounds of force at full power, and it will be used on the new glands as well as the United Launch Alliance Vulcan vehicle. Design life is around 100 launches, so it is highly reusable and economical. At number 2, the Raptor. This is yet another very powerful rocket engine in development. It is powered by cryogenic liquid methane and oxygen. The turbo pump and parts of the injectors are manufactured by 3D printing, and this allows for faster development and testing. It might even be possible one day to 3D print an entire rocket engine, but we will save that for another video. Anyways, total power output amounts to 500,000 pounds of force, and it's already achieved the highest pressure ever recorded for a rocket engine. The design will ultimately be used in the Super Heavy and Starship, which will tally to a crazy amount of 30 Raptors for the first stage, and 6 for the Starship vehicle, so that it can launch off Earth, go to Mars or the Moon, and then launch off those bodies and come back to Earth. 
It's not quite as powerful as the F1 utilized in the Saturn V, but with a lifespan up to a thousand uses, it's pretty economical to say the least. That's number one, the RT Flex 96C. This should be no surprise, as the largest operational engine was initially designed by the Finnish manufacturer Wartzilla. It's made for large container ships, and the 96C is a two-stroke 14-cylinder 44 by 87 foot long beast. It can run at 100 RPM, and it displaces over 1800 liters per cylinder. The pistons are so large that they compress incoming air for the adjacent cylinder, and the engine actually has no camshaft, only one 300 ton crankshaft. Ultimately, this amounts to 107,000 horsepower at 5.6 million foot-pounds of torque. Now, this is not something that is just single and unique, as more than 300 engines have been ordered, and it's likely to hold the record for some time as the biggest and one of the most powerful engines in the world. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.